Hey guys, I thought I'd post this video because uh, there's been a lot of uh, changes in the bicycle light uh, business these days. A lot of lights on the uh, eBay, Amazon, you know, the usual places. Uh, basically, a little bit of background. This is a 2010 uh, Magic Shine that, uh, that I purchased uh, from uh, the internet back in 2010. It was claimed to have 900 lumens and I've been using it uh, pretty much for the last four years and I was interested in getting a new bike light because uh, you know the batteries uh, decay over time and and with all the new claims from the new lights that are out I was curious if uh, if there was any improvements this was purchased for about 90 bucks and uh, one thing I want to point out is it did have a Cree LED or it does have a Cree LED and the uh, it has an orange peel reflector which gives you more of a diffuse broader uh, beam instead of such a focus beam uh, you've probably seen these out there's there there's a ton of them out there they're still making them they're still available uh, this was about 90 bucks in 2010 moving on to the bright eyes this uh, this is claimed to have 1200 lumens I purchased this from Amazon for about 45 bucks it's very similar to the magic shine uh, Cree LED if you see if you compare the two you can see the LED manufacturer has changed a little bit. This is a lot smaller than the old Magic Shine. Uh, you also notice the reflector is not orange peel. It's more of a, uh, a um, smooth finish, and that gives you more of a, uh, a focus beam. They call that throwing powder, a power. Excuse me. Uh, what came in the kit uh, uh, is everything that came in the Magic Shine. Although um, you get a, an additional tail light this was I think 40 or 45 bucks and then for comparison because I don't have a, a light meter uh, this was purchased from Costco this week uh, you, it's currently on sale this is uh, December 2014 they had it on Black Friday for $15.99 or $14.99 I figured this is probably closest to reality they claim it has a thousand lumens and uh, it has a, um, a beam that focuses in and out so you can get more throwing power or more of a broad beam. I just wanted to compare the LEDs. Uh, the LED off the Duracell is noticeably bigger than the Bright Eyes, and uh, about about the same, maybe a little bit bigger than the Magic Shine. And uh, we'll go outside and take a look. You can tell the difference. Okay, everyone, we're outside, and uh, here's the uh, Magic Shine. All the batteries have been charged. You can see the Magic Shine is throwing a pretty decent beam. I have it shining about 50 feet out. You can see it lights up pretty much half of the road on the suburban or neighborhood street. And now I'm going to turn on the bright eyes. And you can see that the bright eyes is definitely brighter than the magic shine. It, uh, it seems to be a little bit more focused and beam and that might be because it doesn't have that orange peel reflector. Uh, let me shine it up in the trees. You'll see the the Bright Eyes is actually getting the palm trees pretty, lighting up pretty well where the Magic Shine doesn't have quite the throwing power. So the Magic, or so the Bright Eyes, the one that you're seeing here, is definitely an improvement in intensity to the Magic Shine. Uh, it might be due to the reflector only. I did, I'm not going to show the video, I did swap the reflectors and I was able to get more of a diffuse beam with the, uh, with the Bright Eyes, but I think the Bright Eyes slightly edges out the Magic Shine. So let me keep the bright eyes going, and now I'm going to turn on the the Duracell uh, thousand lumen light bulb or light flashlight, excuse me. And you can see it's a, it's set up right now to be the maximum amount of uh, width. I'm going to make it more of a focus beam, try to approximate it close to the uh, to the bright eyes. You'll see it's you can actually it's interesting you actually can see the uh, the LED in the in the flashlight but the bottom line is I think the Duracell is beating out the bright eyes so the claims of a 1200 lumen bright eyes light I think are probably bogus I mean compared to the the Duracell there's the Duracell lighting up the palm tree the bright eyes and you can see that the Duracell is clearly beating the bright eyes and throwing power and I'm trying to approximate the the, the spot size it's still uh, it's still beating it so uh, the conclusion that I have is that the Bright Eyes is a slight improvement. It's probably good to get a, 
uh, a new light with a, a new battery for the riding season. I still think that the claims of 1200 lumens are still overstated and bogus if, if the Duracell is actually giving me a true um, thousand lumen. But uh, that's it. Thank you.